So I wanted to update the guide for using the MPC inside of FL Studio. FL Studio has recently been updated to 2024. Even though I have access to the private beta to MPC OS version three, I will not use it in this video. I will instead use version 2.15. But if you see this video in the future, yes, MPC 3.0 does work inside of FL Studio. If you need guidance on how I got this workflow to work, well, I have a video right here. I will have it linked in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. I just happen to like this setup over setting it up in controller mode because you get access to more features that I will show you in this video. I just want to speed run through the process so that we can get into the fun parts of creating with the MPC in FL Studio. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hook up the MIDI out of the MPC to the MIDI in to my DAW. Of course, I have an audio interface that has MIDI in and MIDI out. And that's the key thing if you wanna have a hybrid workflow like this. So make sure that you understand that or watch that video, by the way, I'm dead serious. So in order for this to work perfectly, what I need to do is set up a MIDI program inside of the MPC and select a port, because if I'm pressing on the pass right now, it won't send anything to FL Studio. So you see me pressing on the pads, nothing. So let's go ahead and set it up over here and set up to the proper. Now you can see in FL Studio, that sound, which is loud as hell, by the way, I'm gonna turn that thing down. It's being triggered by the pads. Next thing I wanna do is simply this. Uh, I will go into pad perform so I can set up, you know, progressions because that's the main reason why uh, I wanna work in this mode and not into the MPC software and controller mode because I won't be able to play any chord progressions. So let's go ahead and get into a chord progression simple you know i'll go into gospel because gospel has some really good stuff especially in slow praise so of course i need to pick out a better sound in fl studio because that sound is whack so that's where i want to segue into this i want to check out some sounds that i don't have so what i want to do is show you how to download sounds from flex and then I'll just go over here to MXS Audio's collection. And then I will just hit this right here, which will download it. So it's the goodie bag. Everything is downloading. And after it downloads, you can just go back into packs and then you can select a pack, which is the goodie bag. Let's hear some of the sounds from here. I'll go into something more melodic. I like this patch, so let's check it out. It already sounds pretty damn good. I actually want to start off with a sample, so I'll go in here and pull up Serato Sample. That's another thing, because Serato Sample is just amazing. So let's use this sample right here. I like this sample, so boom. So how do we chop this up using the MPC while using FL Studio? Yeah, that's stupid, right? What I'll simply do is just go into chromatic mode or whatever and set up a C. So set up a C major. It's chromatic, so make sure it's set to C1. Take it into, what, threat, this mode right here so I can just continuously chop. So it works basically how I would on the MPC now. But if I wanted to, I can just go over here to select Right here, I'm gonna select all. I'm gonna select all the chops. I'm gonna erase everything. Select all, and then there we go. Now it's working. And I'll just set up like random chops. So I'll just set random. I think that's easier for me. So you gotta press on the button again. So it'll do it. And that will give me all the chops that I want. Cause I like to just experiment with chops. So I wanna chop those samples up but I wanna do it at at least 138 BPM or 37. Let's try 37, it's, it's weird. So make sure that you set it on the MPC. If you have to check and see if you have any clocking, because if you go inside of FL Studio, you'll know if it's synced up to your clock because it will represent that. It's doing the BPM from the MPC. So yeah, it's doing 137. 
So it's sending pulse per quarter to note to your FL Studio because the MPC is the master clock. But respectfully, in FL Studio, you need to set up how many bars anyway. So you can set up your bars right here. So I want like eight bars because we're in double time. That would be like four bars. So 128 beats, I believe, is what that is. So everything is set up. Now I just press record and I can just press play start on my MPC and it will start the recording process just like I was in FL Studio. If you need to quantize anything, you know, you could just use control and Q and now quantize everything up. You know, just take a look at your stuff, see if anything is out of order. So I need to delete that. You know, this simple FL Studio workflow, just you're using your MPC at the same time. I know this next part might be funny because why wouldn't I use note repeat to make a hi-hat pattern when I can just do it in FL Studio? It's a simple process. Right now I'm feeling kind of lazy. So what I want to do is just drag in hi-hats and then just mess with them, you know, to see if it's, if it's a vibe or not. Then I'm gonna change this. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and select all these shops and filter. There we go. Remember I said that the MPC software is optional and it is, but I'm gonna use it uh, to get the other parts of my drums done. So I pulled up the MPC software and the only difference now is that the MPC won't work with this natively. But if I was to press on any of the pads, I, ne I haven't switched anything out and I'm still in pad perform, so I don't have to do anything different. All I have to do is just select whatever kit that I want from over here or expansion, I mean. Now when I press on the pads, it will control the NPC software even though I didn't go into controller mode. So I can just record stuff in now. The only difference being I would have to hit the record button right here and then press play start on the NPC to activate that. So let's get it. I'm gonna add that snare in first. And if I wanted to, I can go over here to the hamburger menu and I believe I could just go ahead and uh, double the length. So double uh, the sequence right over here. So event double half speed. Where's double sequence, double length? There it goes, double length, I passed. <laughs> and, and then it will be an eight bar loop instead of a four bar loop, you know, just in case you want to do it that way. One thing I have noticed is that it will record into the piano roll. So if you get any double notes or anything like that, so you can just erase all the stuff in here, or you could just take all the stuff that, that was in here and record it. And then you would just go over here and then choose to export MIDI. And you could drag and drop it in here this way if you wanted to. And then you could just delete everything on the screen, I guess. That's one way of going about it. Let's tighten up the sample. What I want to do is tune the sample up to semitones, maybe. Let's hear how it sounds. No. I'm, I'm like an A minor better. The sample itself is in an A minor now. I switched it to an A minor, so I just set this up and put it in notes mode so I can just do an A minor straight up. And I got an A to wait in there. I like this sound right here, or at least it'll work for this example, but I'll just make sure that I mess with the volume envelope in the release so I don't have to touch so hard on the pads or just press the pads off. Because if I have it tight, it's like this. So let's go ahead and loosen it up so we get more harmonics. Let's record that in. So 
I like this right here, so what I'll do is, I like this sound. down a little bit so I want to see how it sounds without the sample in it I think what I need to do is just go down here to Serato sample and then um I mean, it's too melodic for my taste anyways, but yeah, let's go ahead and add a little bit more uh, high pass filter in real time. Let's do that. There it go. Now it's not cutting everything off. So if I take out the sounds, Still sounds a, a little too R&B-ish for me. It's not killer hard, gangsta fight 1000 on this thing, but whatever. To the right of me, I have more content for that ass. Uh, make sure that you subscribe. Uh, let me know what other things that I can do inside of FL Studio in tandem with the MPC, because I know you guys have figured some dope stuff out. Share it in the comments.